How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today we are back at Beans Diesel Performance Event Blackout in the country. It's been about two years since I've been here. Last time was a great event. Always bunch of shenanigans going on. We're gonna come here. We got the burnout pit already fired up. We got a diesel drag is about to kick off. It's gonna be a great time. So let's get this video started. don't know how the G80 hasn't left the chat, but that was one of the nastiest OPS Chevy burnouts I've seen in a very, very long time. Holy crap. Holy. We got a fire, boys. Can you send the Nissan hard body a little too hard? got a flat there bud just a little bit of a flat
right. More than likely, that was the weak point. Of yeah. The weak point of everything. Probably a stock drop shot. Which, which is what you want. I mean, I'd rather pay $800 and oh, 10000 to get... <laughs> All right, all right, yeah, we got, all right, we're doing a new segment on trucks and water with uh, Jacob's girlfriend, Sarah. Okay, truck talk, Sarah, what do you think about this Duramax, this cat eye year? Um, I don't like the wheels. Why don't you like the wheels? The, the, I don't know what it's called. The lip? The lip? Yeah. You don't like 12 lights? No. Oh, oh. How's truck talk with Sarah? That's one way to do a hitch cover. All right, guys, we just got done a little bit at the farm because we're getting ready for next weekend. If you don't know what's happening next weekend, we got a very special video coming. Not necessarily on just truck stuff, but it's going to be a very fun video. But I want to address something real quick. Yesterday in the or yesterday when I was at the event or in this video, as you saw, you saw the any level lift dually snap a drive shaft. Um, that truck makes 1,200 horsepower on 30 on 30 inch wheels. Um, I forgot the offset on what they were. I think it might be 16 in the front and like something in the back, I forgot. And it was all like, I think on 44s, I want to say. I, I can't remember the exact tire size. You know, it's really sad, honestly. Now, some people weren't like this, but I see a lot of people like When that broke, people were heckling the guy, saying stuff to him, stuff like that about, you know, whatever the price, you know, oh, it you know, X amount of dollars, you know, it needs to stop. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it like it is. You all are just jealous. That guy has that truck. I'm going to point blank and say it because if you had the money to buy that truck, you would be driving it. But you know, instead people don't want to work for anything. They don't want to try to like try for something great in their life. They just want to make fun of someone or be pissed off at somebody that has that kind of truck and if they have the chance to harp on it they will and it's that's honestly sad um that's not what the community is about we're about we're here to help each other to lift each other up because everybody starts out as justin hawk smith says everyone starts out as a nobody you know and we need to get back to the hustle and grind culture that this country was founded on not let's make fun of somebody that was successful now i don't know how this kid i don't know how the guy bought the truck i don't know if it was given to him i don't know i have no idea but you know, it's kind of sad when the guy has done more with that truck than 99% of anyone else will do with their truck. He had to burn out the burnout pit. I think he went down the dirt drag once with it. I can't remember. And then he goes on the dyno with it that most of y'all would never do with your truck, which if you don't want to do, that's fine. But stop making fun of the people that are actually going out and doing stuff with their trucks and trying to better their lives and building an empire and building something so they can buy that kind of stuff. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But stop making fun of other people that are doing it because you know what, man? My heart goes out to you. Um, that truck is gorgeous. Absolutely freaking fantastic truck. And, and I'm sorry. Like, that just sucks. But everyone else, grow up. You're not cool. It's not funny. It sucks. And, you know, if that was you, you would not be happy either. This is probably going to pretty much round out the vlog. But I want to show you this first. So right now... We're at this housing development. It's supposed to be a subdivision near my house, but they haven't built the houses yet. I don't know what's going on with it. Jake break. I don't know what's going on with it, but as you can see, there's like nothing here. So like, I'm gonna be probably filming a lot more videos over here. Um, and uh, apparently someone did a burnout. That's definitely not for me because those are very tiny tires. Like that's barely wider than my foot. Um, and she's got some fat meats on her. Um, but no, it looks, It'd be really cool to do some filming out here and stuff like that. And it's going to be really, really, really dope. But no, Ashley's running great. Update on her. I've been driving her around quite a bit. I'm trying to keep it local right now to make sure. I threw 93 octane in her Friday. Put some more injector cleaner in it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through this tank. Then I'm going to do this stuff at Walmart. That's, um, it's apparently like a tank cleaner. It's supposed to clean out your fuel tank. But you have to do a fuel filter after you run through that tank. So that's not a big deal. That's 20 bucks or whatever. We're going to lie and get a fuel filter in here. Um, but it should be good to go. But Ashley's doing great right now. I think I do have a light going out on the other side of my dash. Inside of my dash. Um, you can see it. Um, 
yeah it's this side right here from about the 50 mile an hour to the 100 it's kind of going out which i want to do a digital dash conversion in this truck anyways i've seen that and it looks really good other update on the truck i got to get new tail lights unfortunately the the things are gonna they're breaking down between the, these lenses starting to separate this one and that one the company that made these sponsorships not their fault they're not in business anymore they got their account hacked or their business account hacked and they shut down so i'm gonna have justin of course do my color matching what i think i'm gonna do is the kind of the same style of lights as these but i'm gonna go with the clear lens instead that way um they just look a whole lot better and it'll match the truck with the black bumpers that's what i want to do color match inside um the other than that is do some small things um these amazon lenses i love the lenses because they're all blacked out murdered out look but they always start the clear coat always starts to fade almost because the heat of the um of the leds as you see the clear coats fading or what it is i don't know but i'm going to be redoing that getting the new lenses in for that new side cover lenses with the a company came out with some new ones that have built-in lights actually not these uh not those the little ones actually like built-in led strips would be really cool redo this bottom bracket right here because that that paint's coming up um and then it'll be kind of more of the big stuff like get paint and body work done on her get some other things done on her make sure the engine's good um redo the track bar setup maybe some 22 by 14s on a leveling kit which would be really dope but that'll be probably after the body works i have to do the california tuck and trim some more on the front right here um stuff like that but um that's kind of the game plan now that's probably far out guys like i said i've got the brook build i'm doing um so you all been loving it but thank you all from me to you all i cannot thank you all enough for all the kind words that ashley was back um you know i've had this truck since 2015 so like now going on almost eight years now and when i started this journey on youtube i never thought it'd blow up the way it did and i'm not saying i'm a huge youtuber i'm not some super famous youtuber like whistling diesel or somebody like that a duramax jack but you all are great when i finally had this truck back i had so many text messages snapchats dms like thanking the lord that she's back and she's running and stuff like that and you all have missed her and it's i know i i've always preached now that you know it's a material object it can be replaced but it's amazing to me how much a material object can touch the lives of so many people like it inspired so many of you all to do a k1500 build or to do a build of your own of whatever it is gas diesel new old doesn't matter like it inspired you all to do it and go after what you want in life in your dreams and that's what i tend to do you know material objects are great i love my hobbies don't get me wrong and i'm very blessed to be able to do what i do but i want to inspire my generation and the generation below that you can go out and build things you can go out and do stuff no matter the hate no matter the comments no matter what and i've dealt with it all guys trust me i've dealt with pretty much any almost everything somebody can throw at me almost to the point where it got kind of scary all of you all are an amazing an amazing fan base and i cannot thank you enough for the support on ashley like no joke like it means the world to me and i'm so glad you all are back now i know everyone's saying to me to keep her and i'm keeping her don't get me wrong now if someone throws out the number i would want for this truck if it's going to a good home i might do it i don't know but um we'll cross that bridge when we get there lol because there's two bridges on this uh on this um new subdivision they're doing um but yeah it's really cool um but i want to thank you all from my from my heart to your heart thank you all you all have made what this channel is all about and i cannot be any more grateful for that you all have done an amazing amazing job and to everyone that what try, tries to drag me down I wish you all the best of luck in life. I hope you all can find something you're truly passionate about. And the world needs more people that are passionate about what they love and not tearing somebody down on social media for loving what they do. So I hope you all, I wish you all the best. But I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, leave a like. New channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.